So 90% of the frustration that you're gonna experience in a sales call comes from you and your prospect having different expectations for what the interaction was actually supposed to be. If you show up on a call and you're expecting a back and forth dialogue, it's supposed to be a introductory call or discovery call, and they're expecting to see a demo, you're gonna have a really tough time when you start asking them questions and they're like, wait, what's going on here? And so the fix for this is you just gotta have a 90 second expectation setting exercise in the beginning of your meeting. And that expectation setting exercise is literally setting an agenda. And so the agenda for today's video, I'm gonna talk about what you need to include in any sales agenda. I'm gonna say how I say my agendas, and then I'll talk about how you can transition out of the agenda talk into the meeting. That's the agenda, let's roll this thing. The biggest mistake that I see salespeople make when they set an agenda is that they set an agenda versus having a back and forth conversation with the customer about the expectations for that meeting. There is a difference between coming across scripted and robotic when you present an agenda and having a natural, hey, here's what I was thinking for this 30 minutes, how are you feeling too? And so we're gonna talk about how you can nail that in the delivery piece, but let's start with the key components of what you need to include when you do present your agenda. So there's three components that you've got to include in your agenda. Those three things are your expectations for the meeting, their expectations for the meeting, and then possible outcomes for the meeting. Let's actually go in depth on these. So let's go in depth here. Let's start with your expectations. You, even when it seems obvious, should be laying out, hey, here's how much time I have set aside for this. Here's where I thought we were gonna use that time. Am I showing you a demo? Are we having a conversation about your technical requirements for something like this? Are we talking about pricing? Lay that out on the table. And then your expectation of what roles the two of you are gonna play in this conversation. Am I the one doing all the talking? Am I giving a presentation? Or are we having a back and forth conversation? Lay all of that out there. Then you can get into their expectations, which is simply, hey, I just shared my expectations. Is that aligned with what you thought? Here's the thing. If you are domineering the agenda and not giving your prospect a chance to modify that agenda and give you their input on it, you're not properly setting an agenda. You're just steamrolling ahead and you might as well not even have this expectation setting exercise. And then the last piece here is you're making it clear that you are driving towards outcomes in this meeting. You're making it clear that, hey, the purpose of this isn't just to talk. The purpose of this is to figure out where we go together. And we're gonna carve out time at the end of this meeting to talk about where we go from here. Now that can seem like a lot, but this doesn't need to be overly rigid or complex. Here's how I set my agendas for a first discovery call. Step one, you wanna get permission to get into the agenda conversation. And you can get it by saying something like, you know, Dave, before we get started today, do you mind if we take a sec to talk about how we use the next 25 minutes? Dave will say yes. And then I'll say something like, cool, you know, I know this is the first time that we're meeting and I've got a ton of questions for you about what you're looking for in your next accounting system. Um, and so I'm hoping you can help me better understand that. My guess is you've got some questions for me and I'm happy to answer those and also give you a, a better sense of how I think we might be able to fit together. Um, besides talking about that stuff, was there anything else that you wanted to make sure that we covered today? Here's where I can pull out other things Dave wants to cover, AKA his expectations. Then I'll transition to talking about outcomes and I'll say something like, cool, you know, honestly, first meetings like this usually end up going one of two ways. You know, you might hear about what we do and how I think we might be able to help and say, hey, you know what? This isn't a fit. If that's the case, totally fine. You won't hurt my feelings. Just let me know. You know, the other outcome folks will usually have is they say, hey, this sounds relatively interesting. It's probably worth exploring this a little bit more. Um, you know, if that's the case, what most folks will want to do next is actually see the thing in action and, and see a demo of stuff. Um, you know, given that we've got to stop here at 2.30 today, are you cool if we end maybe five minutes early to talk about where we take things from here? Now what I've done is I've laid out, hey, these are the outcomes we're driving towards. We're either gonna see a demo next or we're gonna part ways. 
Either's fine, but now I have a clear destination for where the meeting is going to go. And now this is where the fun of selling starts because I've got permission to ask questions, I've got the customer's expectations laid out on the table, and I have a very clear destination for where things are going that the customer and I have agreed upon. Now I need to transition out of my agenda and get them talking. I wanna hand them the mic. And my favorite way to do that is to kick off my meetings, my first meetings, with the question, why'd you even take this call? And so the way that I transition out of the agenda and get them talking is I say, cool, well, you know, Dave, I guess to start, I have to imagine there's a ton of salespeople that reach out to you like I did who wanna get on your calendar. And I can't imagine you take meetings with every single one of them. What prompted you to decide to meet with me? And now they will start talking. So that's how you set an agenda. That's how you get permission to ask your questions, clear expectations, and you and your customer are aligned on how you are going to spend that meeting. If you like this video, we've got a ton more with best practices for sales calls. Check them out on this channel and we'll see you on the next one.